Hi everyone, today is June 8th, 2019. My name is Thomas Kim. In this episode, we will upgrade or update GNU G++ and Clang++ over MCS2 or MinGW on Windows platform. GCC9 is finally released and it has a lot of improvements, especially parallel algorithm that was introduced to C++ 17 standard is now implemented in GNU G++. Please double click this link. So GCC 9 is finally released. If we scroll down, runtime library for LIB SDD C++ is improved like this. Parallel algorithm is finally implemented in GNU G++. It requires thread building block. Thread building block is Intel product to take advantage of parallel algorithm in GNU G++. We have to update GNU G++ compiler. If you haven't installed MCS2 and GNU G++ on Windows, please double click this link and watch this video to install GNU GCC or G++ on Windows platform. If you already installed GNU G++ on Windows, then we need to upgrade or update to latest version of GNU G++. Start your file explorer. In our previous episode, we installed GNU G++ on Windows in MCS2 subfolder. MinGW64EXE, drag and drop to your desktop, create shortcuts, double click it. On the command prompt, G++ version. If you see G++ version 8.3.0, then we have to upgrade to 9.1. Before we upgrade, we need some command. We have to update the MinGW first. Pacman SYU. Hit enter. Hit enter. Please be patient. It will take some time. If you see this warning message, terminate MCS2 without returning to shell and check for updates again. Warning, for example, close your terminal window instead of calling exit. If you see this message, then close this button. Okay. Then double click MinGWEXE shortcut once again. Then Pac-Man SU hit enter hit enter depending on your internet speed it will take some time if you see 77 over 77 then upgrade is successful on the command prompt G++ version. Now you should see G++ 9.1.0. Okay. Please understand that GCC parallel algorithm requires thread building block. So we have to install thread building blocks like this. Pacman SS thread building block. Hit enter. We will be installing MinGW W64 x86 64 Intel TVB. Okay, like this. Pacman S MinGW W64 x86 underscore 64 Intel TVB. Hit enter. Hit enter. Now all upgrade is done successfully. Clang plus plus version. Clang has not been updated yet. After updating GNU G++, 
if you haven't uh, made system environment variables for Microsoft Visual C++ and GNU G++ and Clang, please double click this link. Please watch this video and make proper system environment variable settings for our development. In future episode, I will explain how to use parallel algorithm in C++ 17 standard. If you haven't installed the GNU C++ before, then please watch my next video. I will explain how to install GNU C++ on Windows platform from scratch. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.